What's up YouTube? My name's Quickie, welcome back to the channel. I'm not having a very good day already. Um, there's some stuff I want to be getting on with and I ain't got a lot of time in here at all this week. However, I came in this morning and uh, the engine was propped up on wood and uh, this axle stand, he was squirreled up under there. You can see the big scuff where the axle stand popped out and the whole engine has rocked and fell over. Um, luckily, it's on wood and luckily it didn't fall off the bench because falling from there to there, big everything, something's going to get dinked. So, um, before I can get on with the other stuff, job one is I need to make a cradle for this. So I've knocked up a base frame. It's just out of this scrap stuff that I've got kicking about. Um, I don't care if it doesn't look pretty. I don't care if it's not absolutely cock on square. As long as it keeps that where I left it, I'm happy with that. <laughs> so I'm just having at it basically today. Um, I'm just throwing a few ideas together and I want to basically get it secured. So that's what I'm doing to start off with and then we'll move on. I just want to see if this is going to work. Uh, so, bear with me. <laughs> Right then, that's done. It ain't going anywhere. The bench is going to fall over before this does. <laughs> it is just thrown together quick and dirty and it is just using scrap I've got laying about. It ain't got to be anything special. It's held up at the front here and at the back. So I can kind of get to everything as well, I think. Pretty much. I mean, by the time it comes to taking the bottom off, it's coming out the cradle anyway. So I'm happy with that. Right. Uh, right, let me unload the van and I'll share my thoughts with you. Oh. <laughs> got loads of this I've got loads of that um, and the good thing is 
it's all scrap, it's all junk. Which, you know, it does kind of sit quite well. Basically, this has come from work. I've got loads of it. I could cock this up twice and still get the job done, I reckon. Um, but the fabrication table was made at work. It was going to be like a test thing and blah de blah de blah And they bought all the steel for it and everything else. Got halfway through making it and went, yeah, we don't need it anymore. It's junk. So they scrapped it. And I went, well, I've, I've, I could use that. So they give it to me instead. Um, so I've got quite a lot, I haven't measured it, but I've got a lot of it. I've got plenty to get this done. Um, and this is what the frame jig is going to be made out of, and that is the next job. Now that I know my engine's not going to fall off the bench anymore, <laughs> I am going to stick it, stick some wheels under that bit of wood just so I can, you know, move it around the shop and get it out of the way if I need to. A dolly would be a good idea, I think. And I've got some wheels. Um, so anyway, yeah, frame jig. I have been cocking about with CAD, and I've come up with this. I'll stick a picture up so you can have a look, see. And I know it doesn't look very impressive, but I reckon it's going to do the do. There's, there's loads of people doing bike channels and make, you know, they've got framed, like Craig's got a frame jig for his bobbers. Michael Waller's got one that he make, you, well, he makes all sorts of stuff on it. Um, D tree, revival cycle, this, that. I mean, there's loads of them. Loads. Um, and you look at some of the videos of people making frames and you just think, oh, mate, you're doing it all wrong. <laughs> Everything's moving about. Um, and it shouldn't be. It's got to be a, a pretty good and stiff and solid jig. So this stuff is mild steel, 80 by 80 with a 3 mil wall th thickness. So this is sturdy stuff. And the idea is it's all going to be based off two frame rails that you can see at the bottom. And between them, I'll just cut another section. I'm going to weld that in between, front and back, and it'll all be dead level and true because the sides of my table is, is cock on as well. Um, essentially, I'm going to be working off the end of the table because I'm only looking at the main part of the frame, the, the tail bit. That, I mean, that can, you know, that's easy to sort out. That can just happen later on. So, you know, the, the frame ain't got to be massively long and it will just overhang the sides of the table. I'll clamp it down and we're in. Um, and then I can make all the spars that come off it. So if you look at the headstock, I'm still talking about a couple of ideas on this one. There is probably going to be one of these, uh, what I'm thinking at the minute anyway, one of these with basically a quarter circle piece of plate, hole in here and I'll slot that, because that way I can put an arm on it, which I can change the head angle, and then it will just be like threaded bar on the end of a boss. So now I can have two cones that go into the headstock and I could set that to any angle that I want, basically. And I'll just mark it up on the, the thingy as to, you know, all right, for a Mark 1 bandit, that's where it's going. And this is the degrees. Something like that, I suppose. Um, so this will go down in between the two frame rails and there's going to be a collar put on around here that I can bolt it in four places down to the frame rail so this ain't going anywhere. It'll be dead true that way, I'll square it up this way and we'll know that we're on the centre line because everything is coming off the, these, these two rails. So that'll be that one. Then if you have a look at the engine bit, the one in the middle, that looks really weird. They've got, I've got like eight points on this I think. I think. One, two, three, but yeah, four on each side, basically. So there's going to be another one of these with another collar, and then we're just going to have, I'm probably going to drill it through if one of these is, is um, you know, sort of in line with them or off to one, whatever, I don't know. But we're going to have bars that come through with a plate on the end, and that's going to be the uh, pickup point. So it'll probably just be a bar with like a, uh, uh, a hole that's threaded. And then off that, I can have, I, I, I can, you know, that's that's where the engine mount is going to be. Um, and I can come forwards and back on this, and I'll basically just make this to fit that engine. That's easy enough. Um, essentially, I'll just be sticking the frame on the jig, sticking one of these in the middle, plate on where the, the engine mounting holes is going to be, and then it's just a case of filling the gap between this and the plate. So that should be fairly straightforward. Um, there'll be another one of these for the tail section and that's going to serve two purposes so we'll have the swing arm pivot position the pin that goes through and we'll also have the top uh, mounting for the rear shock 
because uh, that's quite important when you think it through. Put that at the wrong height and everything's going to cock up. Um, but everything about this jig is going to be built around the Bandit Mark 1 frame. Um, all the work I've done on Asbo to this point, as, you know, as far as changing suspension and the forks and this, that and the other, has all been based around that geometry and I don't want to change it. However, later on, if I wanted to change the geometry, well, I can just change the headstock or I can you know, move the pivot position for the swing arm or if I wanted to stick a different engine in, I'll just do another one of these with different pickup points for the engine mounts. So it should be quite versatile. And like I say, I've been looking at, um, there's loads of people with jigs online, loads of them. Like Craig's got one for his bobbers and Michael Waller and, you know, whatever else. Um, and I think there's, there's good bits for some of them and there's not so good bits for some of them, but I've sort of took all the bits that I quite like off the ones that I've seen and that's what I'm coming up with, so that's the design. It is going to be chunky, it is going to weigh a bit, it is going to be clamped down to my bench and it ain't going to be moving anywhere. Certainly not falling off. <laughs> So that's what the plan is. Um, but it should be quite a good jig, I reckon. I reckon it'll do the do anyway. Um, it also shouldn't really take that long to do. Um, I haven't got all the steel. Some of it is still at work for the collars and stuff. So I'll probably be making them up at work in my lunchtime and then I'll just bring them back and we'll stick them on and away we go sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, there really ain't much. There really isn't much to it. It's a real simple construction, so I'm hoping it don't take too long. We can get the frame set up, and then we can start chopping the frame up. That'd be cool. I can start making the old frame. Well, well, it's not going to be a complete frame. I'm going to be using bits of that, and I've got a plan as to how I'm going to do it, and what's going to go, and what's going to get replaced. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so, um, in other news... <laughs> because there's quite a lot going on um you all know that i moved into the model shop i'm no longer a line welder or anything um and i pretty much got through all my training been having chats with the bosses and they all seem quite happy with what i'm doing so that's all good uh, and hopefully over the next two or three weeks i should be moving back onto my old shift at the minute i'm getting up at stupid o'clock in the morning starting work at seven and finishing at three um, but I should be moving on to the shift after that, so starting at 3, finishing at 11, which means I'll have time to come in here in the morning and get some bits and pieces done, because at the minute, I ain't got any time to do anything. I really haven't, um, which is why things have sort of slowed down a little bit, because I've just got a fraction of the time available to me. So that's all going quite well. There's a couple of little bits I need training up on, like, you know, using a crane and stuff like that. Um, but that's all planned. I've got loads of tools on order, apparently. I haven't seen them yet. But I need them. Um, and once I've got that, there's no reason why I can't go back on my old shift. So I'm quite looking forward to that. Because, like, your whole life is set up around the shift that you're on. And when you go and change it, everything gets cocked up. <laughs> so there's that. Um, but... Um, yeah, it's all looking quite hopeful. So, you know, like I say, in the next couple of three weeks, maybe, I don't know. It just depends on the bosses. But that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. Um, some of the eagle-eyed amongst you would have spotted some barbells in the corner. I've got dumbbells in the van as well. I am going to try and get fit again. It's weird, but since I've not been working the line welding, all this bit up here is kind of ended up down here. <laughs> And I'm not that keen on it. So, I'm going to start something. It was going to be a New Year's resolution, but I might start it early. So when I come in to do some work, I'm just going to pick up heavy stuff and put it down for half hour before I start doing anything else. And hopefully I'll start getting a little bit fitter. You'll also notice the Movember thing is gone. <laughs> I'm not doing it anymore. That's stupid. Um, it got to a sub. I'd, I've never had a beard. I've never grown one. Um, but I thought, right, I'm doing the Movember thing because there was a couple of fellas at work taking the mick and whatnot. So I had a go. And it was all right up to a certain point, but then it gets to a certain point and you start spotting it. <laughs> and you think, okay. And then it starts getting a bit itchy. Didn't like that bit much. I drew the line when I started eating it. So it's all got shaved off. Sam's much happier about it. <laughs> so I'm not doing Movember. I had a go. I failed. 
I'm not doing it again. But anyway, there you go. That's pretty much everything. Um, I can't think of anything else. If I do think of something, I'll, you know, I'll do a video on it. That'll be fine. <laughs> but that's where I'm leaving it. Thank you ever so much for watching. And we will see you on the next one. Bye,